There is a global meltdown coming. It is a global depression. You're telling me that Americans were making more money back in 1980 than, they are today. than they're making today. That's exactly right. Wow. All right. That's pretty depressing. We got into this mess by spending too much, borrowing too much, and inflating too much. A new report shows consumer confidence took a nosedive this month with Americans more scared than ever about losing their jobs and their retirement savings. I think it begins with our own central bank, the Federal Reserve, which four years ago uh, created excess liquidity, created excess money. Uh, that created global excess liquidity, started a commodities boom. Regulators closed two more banks today, yep. making the ground total 16 banks close, cl so far this year closed. What do customers of these banks and others need to know? When governments spend money, they spend it in a non-productive manner. And every penny the government spends, they have to take it out of a productive source of money. The money has to come from somewhere. Everybody talks about the money that's going to be spent and how, about, how many wonderful things will happen, but they never say, where does the $825 billion come from? Currently, the economic status of America is not doing so well. Um, personally, it's been affecting me, my life, my family. And, uh, I feel our nation is under turmoil. Um, everything, I feel, is overpriced. I feel like inflation. We have a lot of people that come into this country working, and uh, we never see the money in circulation again because they're taking it out of the country back to their homes. Yeah, I think everyone's scared about this economic crisis because Americans always have this mentality that we're the best, we're number one. You know, we get taught in history class, you know, we won this war, we won that war. You know, we've prospered this whole time. And when we're down, we get back up again. And as, I mean, as far as the economy affecting me, you know, my dad's out of a job. My mom's a little scared, but not too worried. And, like, I just know this summer, you know, I'm going to go. I, I, I already called a few places. You know, restaurants aren't doing well. I'm, that's why I don't get my job back from last summer. You know, it's going to be tough for kids to find jobs this summer. And, you know, they say a recession is when, you know, your neighbor's out of work, but a depression is when you're out of work. So My dad recently lost his job, and my mom also fractured her calcaneus, so she was collecting disability, but my dad was collecting unemployment. We could bury me ends meet due to the economy and the high inflation prices. Um, this had a major effect on my lifestyle and social life. As far as uh, my family with money, I mean... Uh with college and all, we didn't really have to take out loans for the first couple years I went. And, uh, you know, I, now I guess, you know, with the situation, uh, we've had to take out, I'm going to have to take out a loan for this upcoming semester just because my money just didn't really add up. And I pretty, I'd be in the weeds if I didn't take out a loan. So my dad is currently out of his job. Um, my mom works at a school and they are letting off employees constantly. I just finished my student teaching in the Lakewood School District and from what I know for the September 2009 school year they are letting off I believe 10 faculty members. Three of them are health and physical educators which is my major. So the current economic status is going to affect me big time come September when I'm looking for a full-time position as a physical educator. For me, I'm very fortunate because I'm going into a field that is in high demand right now. Um, the demand for nursing projected for the year 2020 is a million that they're going to be short of in nurses. Um, as far as the other major goes, like my friends are in college, they're doing business administration, economic finance. I feel really bad for them. They're having a really hard time getting a job. Well, as a server, uh, I've noticed that uh, you know, I work for like a corporate restaurant, you know, like a bunch of chain restaurants, you know, you think they'd be doing great, but um, there's no way. I can't afford to work there anymore just because it's just going to get worse. Just It's been getting worse and worse with the tips and stuff like that. And if you add up the money, you know, in the summer I was making, let's say, like $300 a weekend, you know, 100 bucks a night, something like that. Now I'd be making maybe 50 a night, 75 something like that, and taking twice as many tables just because you know, of the economic situation. I guess people don't have money to spend, like have extra money for tips or anything. Uh, I know that there are not a lot of positions open right now. There are 34 of us graduating this May, and that's just from the College of New Jersey. 34 of us looking for jobs as health and physical educators. So what are the odds that all 34 of us are going to get jobs? If we are going to continue to create jobs, we should create, you know, not, don't create jobs, just create jobs. We should, you know, they have a purpose in the long run, say like, a, 
if we were going to do the going green, if we were really serious about that, you know, reusable energy, we should use our funds to, you know, back that up, something like that up that would help us in the long run. As far as going green goes with our nation, I feel we're taking steps forward in this process, but I feel like we've always had the knowledge at our fingertips and never really utilized it to its fullest extent. Um, a few of the major car companies, they developed hybrid cars, but um, I still feel like they need to improve this drastically because gasoline keeps going up. Um, things that I think our, our government needs to capitalize on is advancing our technology. For example, hybrid cars, electric, electric cars, minimizing our use of fossil fuels, minimi minimizing our use of gasoline. I think that that can help us huge. We put so much money into that. Again, other power, our electricity, our heat, using wind power, solar power. I think using what our environment has to give to us, I think that can help us huge in the long run. Little things, like even even stuff like legalizing marijuana, it seems like, you know, a dumb idea, you know, like some college kids are just complaining, but if you think about it, say the DEA confiscates $250 million worth of marijuana in one bus. You don't think that money can be used for something great? You know, even if um, you know, they legalize it, you know, they could take that marijuana instead of, you know, putting people in jail, which does nothing for us. We actually have to pay to keep these people in jail, we have to, you know, put money towards that. You know, why don't we hire these people? People that know how to grow this stuff, you know, give them a job. You know. As far as taxing marijuana, I feel that this could be ben very beneficial. I believe I saw in the news that they could tax it for $50 an ounce, which is a lot of money for the government to be taking in. We can tax the sales for medical purposes or whatever purposes they may be. The, the money for it, the cost of marijuana, will be taxed, so our government will be making money that way. The media is definitely hyping up the uh, situation with the economy. Uh, they're probably scaring more people than helping people, actually, at the moment. They, um, by scaring them, I mean that people that would normally go, be going out, spending money, doing things with their family, are now staying at home and trying to save money. You know, watching all these people in their expensive suits and, you know, on TV cameras telling trying to tell me we're in an economic crisis. I just, I don't think they could see ever where we're coming from. You know, personally as people, I mean, I'm getting by. It's tough, but you know, I'm getting by. Now. And then everybody's all frightened to spend their money. The media has created a huge frenzy that people are, oh, I can't spend my money, I gotta keep it, I can keep it, I can't save it. Oh, my friends wanna go out tonight, but I can't go out tonight, I need to save my money, okay? I think they're just, scaring people into failure, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are just giving up and they're using this economic crisis, they're using all this negative media as a crutch, you know, almost as an excuse of why they're doing so bad, you know, instead of, you know, continuing working or trying to find another job. You know, me, myself, I mean, I'm quitting my job, but, you know, I'm not using the economic crisis as a crutch, you know, to not look for a job. As far as America being top dogs, we are currently no longer top dogs. China has been exceeding us for the past several years. As regarding import and exports, there's nothing going out of America. We keep buying from China and Japan, and our money keeps going out of the country, but nothing is coming back into the country. I think that Obama can deal with our economic issues in a different way. I think that... Um, we can have better relationships with foreign countries. I think that we need to watch the way we spend our, men, our money, watch the way we hold on to our money. I think we need to balance out our import-export a little bit better. I think if we just stop, reflect back on everything, reflect on our nation's history, our past oppressions that we've gone into, I think that we have to learn from our mistakes and I think that we need to prosper and overcome all of this. Alright, so bottom line with our economy is it's, it's based on consumption. You know, you can only consume for so long. You have to save. In order for someone to borrow, somebody else has to save. That's the bottom line. That's where our economy is falling right now and that's why it's going to continue to fall because the government, you know, he's on, Obama's on air the other night telling you to buy, buy, buy. You know, that's, that's not what we want to do. Save your money, save it. We'll see a recession, but by saving we'll overcome it much quicker than if we just continue to spend. So I feel like we're going towards a depression and, you know, this is nothing compared to what we see within the next decade. We might have a little rebound, but don't be fooled. We're going down. Bye, Gold.
<laughs> so if our economic predicament is not President Obama's fault, whose then is it? The answer is not just President Bush. The question is not at all academic because unless Americans see what happened, the same people who broke the system then will succeed in keeping it broken now for their own gain. The key here that financial firms and their executives are not synonymous, that executives got rich by risking their companies, not so much by breaking the rules, but rather by breaking the system of rules.